Okay, guys. I am at Chick-fil-A in the parking lot. Just got my food. Waffle fries. I'm gonna eat one now. A medium mac and cheese. Ugh. And the fish sandwich deluxe. Oh, I can't wait. And I got a cookies and cream milkshake. And they gave me sauces. So I have ranch. Chick-fil-A sauce, tartar sauce, Texas Pete hot sauce, because I like it in my Mac, and ketchup for my fries. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks so good. Really was looking forward to trying the fish sandwich. Everything else I've already had, besides the shake. I've never had a Chick-fil-A milkshake before. Today's been such a chill day. It's Saturday, I'm officially working from home. That started Friday. Um, for the most part, I've just been in the house. I did leave out today because I had to drop something off to my grandma and then drop groceries off to my grandma. So, and I was so like paranoid about seeing them. So for the most part, very little contact. I kind of stood in the doorway, no hugging. My grandma or my grandma I put the groceries on the porch fire and we just kind of talked in between the door through a crack because, <laughs> I mean, scary times. This is the cookies and cream. I don't know. I'll... It's good. You can tell some of the cookies are not soggy. So you can tell they put the cookies in separately. They aren't just sitting and it's pre-mixed. I'm gonna get to the food. Fish sandwich deluxe. It's got lettuce, tomato, the fish, the cheese. Oh, it's got pickles too. There's some pickles underneath there. How much fun is that? I love their mac and cheese. Best mac and cheese you can get if you're not making it at home. I'm gonna bring the camera around to show you guys the food again, and then I'm gonna get to eating because I'm hungry. I haven't had anything today other than a bowl of cereal I had at 10 o'clock this morning. It's 5.29, I'm hungry. Ketchup on my fries. This Chick fil A is only like five minutes from my apartment. I'm so lucky. If I can get this tartar sauce open, I can try that. I'm cutting down as much as I can leaving the house. Usually on the weekends I like to go shopping, but it's not worth it. I'm gonna save so much money just staying in the house. <laughs> um, tomorrow, I am thinking about going to Popeye's and trying the chicken sandwich, because I haven't had that yet. Going in for the bite.
but it's pretty good. I really like fish sandwiches. They're so light. That's tomato juice just dripping down. At first, I thought I was crazy seeing drips, and <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Going back again for the mac. I'm trying not to inhale my food, but I'm so hungry. There's a Cane's right across the street and nobody's there. It's empty. A drive through. Oh wait, somebody's in there a lot. Yeah, one car. That's good, at least they're making some money. <laughs> hmm. Tartar sauce is pretty good. <clears throat> I think I want to open up the Chick-fil-A sauce next and dip the rest of my sandwich in that. Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. It's I don't it's like mayo. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm actually reading ingredients to see what's in it. Barbecue sauce, mustard, lemon juice. Okay, so it's kind of like a barbecue sauce situation. Barbecue sauce, mayo, mustard. I don't know. last bite. <clears throat> I went in for the more mac and cheese. get a little bit of Texas Pete. I have a hardest time getting these packets open. I'm gonna put little scissors in my car to help me for next time. I wish I could show this and it like actually looked good in the camera. It's like it's focusing on me instead of the mac and cheese, but. Ooh, maybe I have to cover my face. Yeah. Got a little hot sauce in there. I got gas today and normally I it takes about $35 $40 to fill my whole tank 
gas is so cheap right now. I filled my whole tank with $19. And it kept, you know, when your tank is full, the, the pump, it keeps unlocking, making that clicky noise. I had to keep on messing with the handle to get it up to $20 because I wanted to spend at least $20. That is the only silver lining right now. Well, that and I get to stay in the house. So cheap gas, I get to stay in the house. I don't know why, I just felt like I was yelling just then, but. Maybe I'll start door dashing or ordering food to my apartment instead of coming out maybe that would be the better option but i just have a hard time trusting people delivering my food i ordered chipotle last week and to me anytime you order chipotle it only comes out good if you're staring the line worker down that's the only time they'll make your bowl right if you're not there to eyeball them while they do it it's over usually they pile the ingredients up in the center and everything spreads out evenly. Last week, my bowl literally had rows of ingredients. So all my guacamole was on one side of the bowl. All my lettuce was on one side. Like it made no sense. Like I was so offended. And I was looking so forward to that Chipotle because a couple days prior I had got Chipotle and it was the best bowl ever the rice had so much lime and salt and cilantro in it that it was just perfect like the rice is the bottom of the bowl and probably not even the star of the show but in that bowl it was shining I don't mean to be sitting here singing about Chipotle as I eat Chick-fil-a but that bowl whoever made the rice that day did that mm. I don't know. I got it on my shirt. Is it trifling if I just... It would be okay. So is it basically barbecue sauce and mustard? It's got some lemon in there. Wow. Barbecue sauce mustard. I don't think I would have guessed that on my own. Do they sell that in stores like Heinz? You know, they have like mayo chip and mayo cube and all those different combinations. Is mustard barbecue one of them and is it this color I'm about to look that up this shake is good but I don't think it's my favorite <clears throat> talking shit almost choked <laughs> Did you hear that? It was my stomach. I went to Kroger's to go get some hand sanitizer to keep in my car. And they were completely out. No hand sanitizer. No hand soap. Last week when I went, or was that earlier this week? It might have been earlier this week. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday? was so empty like the shelves were so bare i went to so many different stores to get this food i went to four let's see i went to aldi's walmart kroger's target and myers i went to five different stores all i wanted to spend was 50 bucks that is all. And it took me going to five stores to get everything on my list. And I had basic things like hot dogs, bread, water, cereal, pancake mix, milk. Like the basics. I wasn't doing anything fancy and chicken. Like it was crazy. The whole row for hot dogs was empty no bread it's like once I got to the very last store which was Kroger's I went to try to get some water and all they had was distilled water I like to buy spring water I don't know what the difference is but I almost grown woman cried in Kroger's because I just couldn't take it anymore because I just can't believe that this is going on 
And then when I got to work, my coworkers were like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, you're young, you'll be okay. And then the same people that told me I was gonna be okay literally were crying at work the next day. And I'm like, oh, it, is everything not gonna be okay now? <laughs> like, oh, I don't even know how to feel anymore. <laughs> Silver lining is, I'm so blessed to be able to work from home. There are some people at my job who were in different departments that could not work from home. And some of them, they kind of just split them up and put them in different buildings. And others are just deciding not to come in. And it, it's, it's crazy. I only have a little bit more left. Disney Plus, it just isn't as good as they hyped it. Like, I was so excited to get it because they're like, oh, all these Marvel movies are going to be on there. All these Marvel shows is going to be so great. And I got it. I pretty much watched all the Avengers movies, all the Marvel movies where they were kind of crossed over. So I watched all of those and I tried to get into the Mandalorian. I watched every episode besides the very last one because I don't care. And I like Star Wars. I went and saw all the movies. I saw the last one in theaters. I'll go see the movies. I enjoy them. But the Mandalorian was just, I don't know. I'm trying to give them a chance. I'll give them until the end of the, this year. We'll see. At this point, I'll be in the house so much. I guess I can, I'm desperate and I shouldn't be canceling any of my streaming services. I need as many options as I can at this point. Because after I watch everything, what will I do? Last bite. I'm done.